Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2 modded. We are jumping in again for some more Seekers of the Storm. This time we are looking at our first modded character and it's an interesting one. This is the Celestial War Tank, which is kind of a crazy concept to put in Risk of Rain. But it has been, like, it's one of the characters with probably one of the most work put into it out of any that I've seen. Just look at the sheer volume of abilities to choose from in every category. You can change like your body, you can change the turret style, and it all changes like your speed, has different pros and cons, it's all over the place, it looks awesome, uh, and it all affects like your, your mass, your weight, the amount of damage you do, the amount of health you start with, the speed you move at. So what I've gone with with this setup is I've gone with some missile launchers as my primary attack, a minigun as my secondary attack, we have the bulldozer to uh, boost and ram through enemies as our utility, we have mini mines as our special, we have the um, MK2 body, which is going to give us a special cooldown and just some decent stats, and then for our turret body, we have decreased primary cooldown, um, so this special is kind of to offset the uh, increased cooldown that we have here. So, kind of interesting. Um, and then we've got a good magenta glow with a blue body. But we'll be jumping in and seeing how we can do. Again, we are playing Eclipse mode, so we'll see how it goes. I haven't actually really played all that much of this character. I've basically just tested them out, and that's about it. I love the way that you, uh, that you come into the map here. So, we do have some, like, boosters we can use on jump, it's it's a little weird to control, to be honest, and you can see it uses a lot of fuel. Um, but yeah, we got this boost here that we'll probably use more often than not. The jump's gonna be just really hard to use normally. But yeah, there's our missile launcher there. And then we've got our minigun here, which, the minigun is good, but as you can see, it heats up and it does have a bit of spool up time, so it's gonna be a little difficult to use. Debit card there. 10%. Rebate on purchases. I thought that was 8%. Maybe that got updated. But there you go. Uh, but yeah, this the minigun really um, I wanted to use for... Oh my god. Um, so I want to be like doing... How, how exactly do you want to move with this? Okay, there you go. You trying to hold both. You can uh, keel yourself over. Oh god, I'm, I'm so dead here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to get used to this guy. The movement is really strange. I don't know. It's just the, the jump ability is just not what I was expecting. I like basically just loaded in and tried this guy out very briefly. I didn't really try moving around too much, so this might be uh this might be pretty difficult. But we'll uh we'll see what we can do. I need to use my utility a little more to, to get away from things, but it not having fuel is gonna be rough. Like the, the fact that we've got like fuel to consume is gonna be really, really rough. So we gotta be careful of that. Good good. But yeah, like, if you jump lock, it just kind of flips you over, so it's, it's kind of hard to use the, um, use that. We can use our, our ability here to throw up mines, and they do stay on the floor and also explode on contact as well. Where the hell did you go, fella? Uh, ooh, honestly, a drone is not a bad shout right now. Um, I would very much like a drone. That kind of goes quite well with the theme of this character, I feel like. Yeah, the minigun's definitely going to be sort of a primary usage here. But I've, I've gone for a tank that's a little bit slower, which is definitely apparent in, like, the difficulty here that we've got. Um, you can see that I'm struggling a little bit with the, uh, the speed of this guy. But just, <laughs> look at this. Oh, man. But yeah, jumping over things is where I'm really going to struggle. Oh, that did not do what I wanted it to do at all. My goodness. I don't know if I take fall damage as this guy either. I think not, but also it is a game, so at the same time, it probably I probably do. Yes, I do take fall damage. Okay. Right, let's quickly uh, boost around this corner and try and get those guys that went around there. Oh, where'd they go? Where? Oh, they're up top, I see. Okay, I can't get to them right now. That's okay. I've got a Halcyon Shrine here. I'm probably not going to go for that right now because I feel like I will definitely mess that up. There you go. So I want to be holding down right click and then spamming left click, really. That, the, the, the missile launcher thing we've got going on right now is really good. Oh man, I can I can feel that this like this minigun could get really really strong with the right items. I'm liking how it feels so far. You should be careful because the overheat on it is pretty hefty. But I'm definitely feeling like <coughs> movement abilities, like movement uh, speed stuff, is going to be what we really really need. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, 
In fact, I do wonder what the proc coefficient is on the minigun, because we might be able to get quite a lot of crits going and a lot of money off the back of that. The, uh, the travel speed of the missile is also pretty fast. There you go. Right, I've got a multi-shop over here. We've got boss damage. Crowbar could be really good, actually, because Crowbar does plus 45 damage on an initial hit. Which means that our first hit with our missile will do good damage, right? Is that another drone over there? What type of drone is that? I don't know what drone that is, actually. What drone is that? Um, broken side drones. I do not know what a side drone is. It's 400? Okay, let's try and save for that. I mean, I don't know if we'll be able to get that, but that seems kind of insane. A side drone. I like the idea behind it. Okay, good. I think that's a big chest up there. But yeah, like, getting up here is going to be really hard because we've got to kind of, like, do that. There you go. It's a little difficult. I want to open the big chest. I really do. But whatever that broken side drone is, 400 seems ridiculous. So I really want to get it. But I don't know if I'm able to afford that. Also, is that a crowbar over there? No, that's a scythe. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happens once my gun overheats. I guess I just, like, it puts it on cooldown for a little while. Gotta be a little careful of that. It does seem that having this 10% crit chance, though, is helping out a ton, which is really nice. Another thing as well is I am actually quite big, so I'm easy to hit, or fairly easy to hit, at least. There you go. 177 already. That's not great, but we're, we're, we're slowly getting there. I suppose when we do the boss as well, we'll get a good amount of money from doing that. Kill you as well. The minigun's like the easiest to use for now. The missile, the missiles and the, and the mines are kind of like for bigger groups of enemies, I feel like. Or like just big enemies in general. So I can launch a few missiles here and like kind of protect myself from enemies that are chasing me. <laughs> Careful of this, dude. Like that big enemies like that, missiles are good go to. Let's move ourselves over a little bit and... You see what I mean with the, uh, the, the jumping? The jumping's actually really hard. Another one of those over there. The boost is pretty good. I, I, I'll admit I probably want to go for the dash ability next time rather than the straight boost. I feel like that'd be a bit better. We don't want to take too long on this stage, but at the same time, yeah, I really want to figure out what that drone is. Because I feel like if it's 400 on stage 1, it's got to be good, right? It's got to be good. That seems ludicrous. I mean, I guess I'll go do the boss now and get some money saved up from doing the boss, wherever it was. I don't remember where the boss was, actually. It was somewhere over here, wasn't it? I did see the, the sparkles. Unless it's up top. There you go. Oh my god, it's so the missile launch is so good. But yeah, this is such a goofy character for this game, but it's it's such a good idea. Oh my god. Yeah, the jumping is just almost impossible. <laughs> I, it's really, really difficult. I've gone with quite a heavy character here. And I'm, I'm finding it tough. Okay, we've almost got enough now, actually. Let's head back. We've almost got enough. Where actually is the teleporter? I did I did see the sparkles, but I don't know where it is. Oh, it's it's up there, I think. By the by this uh, looks of that. Okay. Boost. Grab this thing. Interesting. They are doing some interesting things. It seems pretty cool. Right. So how is this going to work? Oh my god. <laughs> Landing on your head is so easy here. Whoa, so we've got all these little shots here. I think that's... Uh... <laughs> Going up one of those is just like a guaranteed flip. Okay, so let's do this. What on earth is this drone? It's so strange. Oh, dude. This is, this is bad. This is bad. We did actually get that boss pretty easily there. 
And there is there is so much going on with these drones right now. It's it's hard to follow, honestly. We've got a bit of healing from that there. I mean, they seem good. Like, that's something at least. Okay, he uses so much fuel to jump as well. That's another thing I'm noticing. We managed to get another chest here. Focus crystal could be decent. Oh, dude, that was a really bad fall. Oh, if you land on your treads, though, you don't take fall damage. That's good to know. Right, while our teleport is charging, we're going to go and just get a few more chests because we had quite a few that we left around here. That's actually amazing for us right now. And I want to go get that big chest that was over there. And I think I'm good to go. Let's wait for our fuel to regen and then jump up here. There you go. You just got to angle it just right. It's, it's awkward, but it works. Once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad. That, I don't even know if that works for us. It, it, it seems like it doesn't, because I'm jumping and it's not, like, te I think it's because technically this character doesn't jump, he hovers. So that's a, a bit of a weird one. Stun grenade. I feel like anything, like, military just works really well on this character thematically. Right. Let's get back up there now and, and get gone, because we are taking far too long on this stage right now. Yeah, so it seems like going over those is just like a guaranteed flip. You can't you can't reorient reorientate yourself at all, which is slightly annoying. But there's not many stages that have those that as a hard requirement to use. But we are gonna want to get a scrapper because um, yeah, wax quill doesn't do anything by the looks of it, which is a bit of a shame. That'd be something that'd be nice to be updated. Have some of the items that affect jump height or jump or whatever do something else instead for this character, because I imagine they could do that. Yeah, I really don't know what to think of these little side drones. They seem amazing, but, like, the stylistically, they, they seem really strange. <laughs> they, they seem a bit, like, off for what you'd expect out of Risk of Rain here. They're definitely some, uh, some mod that I'm using, but I'm not sure which one. But, at the minute, I'm, I'm just happy for it to be killing stuff for me, I'll be honest. Oh, hello. Yes, there you go. I want more crit chance so I can get more money. That um, money giving us plus two, uh, sorry, crits giving us plus two money each time is pretty nice. Dude, another good item for us here. At the minute, I'm so susceptible to hits that I want anything that I can get that'll allow me to tank more hits. There you go. I'm getting the hang of it. You just got to pull back when you're in there. Oh, dude, that's very nice as well. Very, very nice. Yeah, you just got to make sure to pull back while you're uh, in midair. We'll go over towards that uh, shop over there and see what we got going on. Is that another crowbar? I'll definitely take another crowbar. That is all the backup mag. Oh, wait, no. Backup mag won't do anything because it'll just affect our minigun, right? What's our printer here? That's a really good one. Armor plating. Right, I think we go for that. Oh, we got another crowbar and a regenerative scrap as well. Okay, so we're dealing a, like a hundred and like hundred and fifty, hundred and forty percent extra damage to the, on the first hit to enemies, which actually isn't. I don't know if that affects us, like if that counts for our drones, to be honest. Because if you have a look, I've got a mod that slightly changes the way crowbar works. Normally it's 75% above 90% HP. Now it's 45% damage on your first hit against an enemy. I'm not sure if the drone counts as our first hit or not. But yeah, we wanted to get rid of the um, the wax quail. I'll get rid of my focus crystal as well, to be honest, because I'm not planning on being super close to enemies. I think that's a bad idea. Okay. Grab that. That's not great as well for us. I'm not going to be spending much time in midair, so let's scrap that as well. 
I do wish that the uh, in the scrapper it was ordered by quality rather than most recently picked up. That would be very nice. <laughs> These little things just like zip zap and zoom around the map. Bell. Uh, spawns a bell term and choose position when activated. Triggers a shockwave and stuns enemies. Nice. Okay. Seems decent. We've got two white scrappers. Anything in here we'd want. Power elixir. It's decent, but I'm not that into it. Right. A few more chests. Sticky bomb. I'm actually pretty down for sticky bomb as well. I don't, I, like I said, I just don't know what the proc coefficient is of a minigun. Because if, if our minigun's got good proc coefficient, then it would be really, really nice. Uh, but it, it doesn't say specifically. Right, I'm going to get a different active item because that bell one seems weird. Oh, dude, we are getting some stuff that is so military-esque. The bandolier, the sticky grenade... Um, the kind of the crowbar, the stun grenade. It's all sort of working quite nicely. The minigun's definitely my go-to right now. 600 damage on our first hit to an enemy there. Our drones seem to be just absolutely killing it, though. Okay, there's not much else to see on the stage here. Um, I'll do the chance try. I think we'll get gone after that. We did take quite a while on the first stage, so I don't mind speeding through this one. What does that do? Uh, Jade Elephant. Jade Elephant, actually. I think I'm going to go for that. Gain Jade Elephant for the boss fight is very, very nice. Oh, we need two pennies, really. Yeah, basically, those little things there. They're, they're, like, visually, they look a bit off. They don't look quite look like they fit to the, to the theme of the game. But, otherwise, they're pretty nice to have. 82. Right, let's just go. Oh, no! That was so stupid. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I really thought I'd mess myself up there. Right. Grab, grab. What boss we got this time? Clear Dune Strider. Kind of obvious that we'd get that. Oh, man. We we are a we are a certified boss killer right now. Ignition tank, that is so good. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just I think I've got a mod that lets me drop items. Let me just check this. If I drop that, that gives me fuel. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I was just checking that. I thought it was 160, but I swore I had 150. Yeah, having the ignition tank gives me more fuel. That's so good. Yeah, we're getting a lot of on theme stuff here. I like it. I might get rid of the stun grenade, though. I might scrap the stun grenade. I don't think that's, like, a very good item. <laughs> yeah, having more fuel here is lovely. I certainly don't mind that. I do wish it regened a bit quicker, though. The regen delay on the fuel is insane. I just one-shot that guy. Wow. I think I got a crit on my crowbar hit. Right, with the extra movement speed now, I'm quite liking this. What green item did we get here? Oh, it was just the ignition tank, wasn't it? Yeah. But ignition tank is actually super good now because it has some base chance associated with it. Love it. God damn, having that Jade Elephant on that boss fight there was ace. Also, we're up to 700 HP now as well, which is very, very nice for us. Ah, this stage. I, I get this stage so often. This stage is kind of bad for us because <laughs> there's a lot of required jumping. There you go. Like I said, I'm getting used to it slowly but surely. Damn it. Oh my god, that thing just absolutely wrecked me. No, I'm going to take fall damage here. Oh my god, what the fuck's happening? Okay, I got to get out of here, like, right now. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. 
I need to kill things to like boost my health regen. Once my health regen's boosted, it's all good. Oh dude, there's no there's no path over this way. I thought there was a path here. That thing's gotta go. Okay, we got it, we got it. Holy. Okay, do not shoot these things with miniguns, we'll lose so much money. <laughs> My god, we did it. Oh, we got a tricon there. I'll take the tricon for now. And I'll come back and get that later. Okay. Let's keep it going. There's a. Uh, damage chest over there. I'll go grab that. Well, we got close to death there, but death cannot take us yet. Anchor, really not good. Increased damage while we stand still. I don't think we'll be doing a lot of standing still, to be honest. Right, over this way we go. Oh, oh my god, that was close. No, no, oh my god, game. This, uh, what the hell's happening? <laughs> This flipping upside down business. No, no, no. I don't like that. The flipping upside down stuff is uh, it's kind of silly. <laughs> I wish it didn't flip. I mean, I get it, but at the same time, like, my god. Right, crit glasses, definitely. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even make it up there. My drones are doing a good job of taking stuff out. It's fine. That's a teleporter at least. Lovely. Cool. Um, I don't really know what to go for out of those, to be honest. I guess we go with try to. It's not the best for us right now, but it's okay. Loaf of breads, whatever. Another crowbar. Yes, please. And we'll get a few of these. Okay, you need to die literally straight away, my guy. Otherwise, you're going to kill us. Berserker's Pauldron. Pretty good. Entering a frenzy for extra fire rate. And the movement speed is more so important, to be honest. Medkit's good here. Then what we got going on here... What does this do? Ignites, freezes, and stuns have a 9% chance. Ooh, that sounds interesting. We can call the other one. I like that. Oh, hello. Heal 100% more. Like, that's not a great um, legendary, I'll be honest. But right now, it's pretty good for us. Right now, I will not turn that down at all. Another bit of root is really good for us here. And we'll just get this extra bit of uh, thingy here. What on this effect that's following me? Whatever it is, I'm not a fan. Oh, dude, this guy has a lot of health. He is armored up to the teeth. Monster Tooth Necklace. Again, not great for us. Another chest over here. Let's grab that, and then we can go to our boss. 187. Ooh, Yuke. I'm pretty happy with Yuke. Oh, dude. Come on, now. <laughs> right. Okay. We're good to go. No. 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 Oh, my God. So close again. That gap is very hard to jump for us. Beautiful. Having this crit chance is super, super nice here. I love this character so far. It's definitely a hard character, I'll say that for sure. Not, It's not an easy breezy one. Right, you remember to use the tricorn here? We get a free item. Wait, there it is. Wait, no. Where's my, where's my tricorn item? Oh, there it is. I see it, I see it, I see it. 
While in combat, the nearest enemy with you gets tethered, dealing damage, and applying tar and healing you for damage dealt. That's pretty good for us right now, actually. And we've got to quickly make our way back over here. Um, I think I can just... I've not really tried jumping with my boost on. I'd probably try that, but it's... It, honestly, it's difficult. I'm going to try. Okay, that, that actually works way better if I jump with my boost on. I like that. Obviously, it uses a ton of fuel, but for short distances, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's so much easier to, to get the hang of. Boom. This drone's still doing its thing. I think for now, I'm going to grab three of these. Gain armor on kill. Some armor is lost when taking damage. Higher damage loses more armor. Right, we're good to go. Oh, is that, I'm all out of fuel. I've got to sit and wait for a second. Oh my god, I don't have enough fuel to get up there. Can I drive up this? Okay, good. <laughs> Ooh, there's a thingy portal here. I didn't see that. Nope, 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 nope. Go through here. Uh, of my greens, I'd actually be okay with giving up some of my greens to get a thingy um, a legendary. I'd, I, I wouldn't like to lose ignition tank, but the rest of them I'd, I'd kind of be okay with losing. So let's kind of see how that goes. We got anything here that would be good? This is pretty interesting. This one here. Hitting enemies grants you temporary attack speed buff that increases attack by 10%. Uh, 50, minus 50% 50 to start with. So if we take a look here. A minigun should be slower, right? Okay, maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, what is this? All turrets and drones under your ownership will gain 40% attack speed and grant you 15 armor each. Um, ping a turret or drone to overwrite its targeting AI and again to restore its normal AI. Eh. 25% chance on getting hit to apply one stack of each present uh, present stackable debuff to every enemy in a 30 meter radius. Um, enemies without stackable debuffs are instead inflicted with one stack of bleed. That's a gamble and a half. I'm going to go for it. Cool. That wasn't too bad. We didn't lose anything too, too good there. Right. Let's go. This has been fun so far. No! <laughs> God damn it. Not what I wanted to do at all. I have to fall down to, to, to go back up. Dude, game. This is some shit. <laughs> do I die if I fall down here? I don't, do I? I'm just going to have to do it. Okay, good. God damn. <laughs> that was rough. We're back, though. We're back. The war tank is ready. And raring to go. Okay, we got green up there. It's nice. We've got to be looking for our eggs. What the hell are you? Uh, wait, what? Collapse void potential. Oh, hello. Plus four armor, definitely. Yeah, we've got to be looking for our eggs here. To if we want to fight the boss. It does seem that that, um, that attack speed bonus item I got it, it, it says that it's actually stacking, if you look in the bottom left. But I, I'm not noticing any noticeable attack speed buffs, but I'm guessing the minigun is just, like, set at max attack speed or something, which is why. It kind of makes sense. It's slightly sad, though. I am looking for the eggs. There's some eggs. Okay, let's make our way up top now. Go and uh, grab that green. Chest over there as well. Fuel cell. 
Yeah, I'll take a fuel cell. Fuel cell seems decent right now. What drone is this? Broken missile drone. I'll take a missile drone as well. I think it all fits very nicely with this character to have missile drones and all sorts going on. Just keep moving. We got any eggs up here? There you go, there's an egg. Steady mug's pretty interesting for us. 10% chance to fire an extra shot, which I think with the minigun would be pretty good, right? Ah, oh, got another one of them that we don't really care about. I see more eggs over there. Got that one. And we've got two more eggs to get, maybe. Three more. Quickly check on this layer here, because I kind of missed this area. Nope, I did not want to fall in here, thank you. But I have now, I guess. Okay. Keep going around here again. Oh my god, I'm falling all over the place. 1,100 damage on that hit there. It is beautiful. We drive straight over that. I'm looking for more eggs, please. There's another egg, we got it. Okay, there you go, it spawned. Luckily, this is a boss that I can actually take care of from a distance reasonably easily. Just gotta be careful of his main attack. I can actually stand still as well here to get more damage. Oh god, I got void I got void stuck. I don't even know who did that. But I'm not a fan. That's not doing as much damage as I thought. Maybe the minigun has drop off. It's seeming like it does, you know. What enemy is doing this to me? I need to kill it wherever it is. Infusion's pretty good for us here. I'm trying to pick up whatever I can in items while I'm around. Yeah, it definitely has drop off. Holy shit, he hit me pretty hard there. Luckily, I heal pretty quickly. Oh, no, 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 no. Very nearly died there. In fact, very nearly died again here. I need to kill an enemy really fast, otherwise I'm going to die. The fuel situation is not great for us right now. I basically need to not use fuel at all times so that I can escape when he uses his big attack. We've almost got him there. There you go, we got him. Free legendary, let's see what we got. Don't know what that is. Randomly max of one enemy, killing mark enemies increases base damage. Oh, okay. How often does it mark an enemy though? Bungus there, obviously isn't great. Another crowbar, my god. Some sort of drone thing there. Oh, all our drones getting missile launchers, that's pretty good. I like that. Okay, I'm not going to bother with a void field, to be honest. It's, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, and I'm too weak for it, I think. Let's just do the boss. Really, I just fought you, and you were a pain in the ass then. That magma worm's going to be annoying, isn't it?
Okay, luckily he's going down really fast. The minigun, like, overheat cools down so fast as well. That's certainly helping. Hello, Magma Worm. How are you? Dude, Magma Worm, you have like 2 HP, where are you going? Okay, it's dead, good. We got chance on hitting a boss to gain an orb that gains burner stats, it's kind of good. Why is that one void enemy fucking like just miles away? Let's see if I can get it. There it is. It's a Void Reaver. Just chilling. That's the guy that's been stunning me this whole time. Stop stunning me. Dude, stop stunning me. It's so frustrating. All right, we got him. That's pretty good. Let's take another one of those. And we'll take that. Thank you for the movement speed. Right, we go. Oh, that was a bit tricky. My god. We're getting through it, though. We're getting through it. Ah, there's a chest over there that I missed. Hell. Okay, don't jump on this area. <laughs> Anything else we might want? Reduce damage taken by 40%. Ooh, 5% burn damage. That's kind of... Ooh, definitely Gesture of the Drowned, thank you. I would very much want that. What does stacking that do? Okay, that doesn't really do much for us. Is there anything else here that we could maybe use? Nah. Not really. Yeah, that's not great. Sent you a meat hook. Okay, I think we're good to go here. Gesture of the Drowned is pretty nice, though. We like that. Ooh, my void potential. Give me my increased damage. I keep forgetting that I get an essence every level. I just kind of drive away from it the moment it starts. Good, good, right. What is happening? Oh, it's you, I see. I heard a lot of noise. I couldn't quite work out what it was. Oh my god. He annihilated me. That was unexpected. That boss is uh, pretty tough. But yeah, I think definitely next time we need to try and gather more movement speed early on. But that was a lot of fun. And a really cool look at this character for the first time. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. That was a very interesting little showcase. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.